Hi, it's Wasabi. Welcome back to the channel. We've got another battle on the Prokhorov map, and we've got what is Poo plus Poo? Seen the Yakpanzer E100, the Jagaru, uh, one of the TDs with the biggest pen in the game. And it's heading to the 1 2 line, favourite battleground for the. Um, TDs and light tanks, but this is an encounter battle, so the um, the cap is on the other side of the railway line, so this is not a standard battle on this map. But in any case, get opportunities to shoot across the map, um, and it really depends on the enemy strategy as well. Anyway, both teams have got a light tank, which both of them are tier nines and they are tier tens. And they've just lost their first tank. Now he's platooned with Pyro, but <laughs> Pyro's lost most of his health already in the middle, and so is their light tank. So it's have to see what influence what is blue plus poo have on the game. Alright, so as you can see from the minimap, he's keeping the targets at the edge of view range to make sure he doesn't get spotted. And there you go. Nice hit through the Leopard 1. And just to remind you of the pen of this beast. 170mm gun, which is also a pretty large caliber, not the largest anymore. Average damage 1050, which is awesome. Pen is 299 for the standard rounds and 420, just let me read that again, 420 <laughs> for the heat rounds, but of course it's heat so you've got to deal with the way heat gets treated by armour. Relatively low shell velocity, 925 for both rounds, so in case he's using his uh, standard rounds at the moment, um, no problem going through the tier 9s, and okay, looks like a blind shot came in. 155. We don't believe he's been spotted, but um, it's been a pretty obvious position. Just missed out on a target there. Probably would have gone through the side of the turret there, but aim time a little bit slow, but I wouldn't say slow because it is a 170mm gun and aiming is a factor of the calibre of the gun. Anyway, E4 gets sent back to the garage. That seems to be a bit of a theme at the moment. E4 is really not the strongest TDs in terms of armour. But you can see with the average damage of these shells, three hits and he's just closing in on 3k of damage, so... That is one of the features of this tank, but again, you've got to have the opportunities to shoot at the targets and uh, not every map gives you that capability, but anyway. Let's see how it goes. They've got a tank on cap, and of course this is a counter, so the um, cap timer is much longer than the normal one. And uh, what is Pooh is looking around, saying, why have I got two big TDs well behind me? But in any case, a bit of an answer there. Leopard PTA goes into a bush thinking he's unspotted, and fortunately not taken out straight away, but luckily what is poo is not spotted and finally the PTA goes down but uh, no big one shots like the FV 4005 or standard B nice target go for it go for it bang still getting pretty much average damage there and he did get spotted then now someone is close by G saw possibly is snuck up so he's bouncing targets off his superstructure does have Pretty decent frontal armor, the um, Jagaru. And he's moving up here to see if he can spot out this G saw. So, spot it again. Don't forget the Fock 155 is up ahead there somewhere, so expect some incoming rounds. He's unspotted moving back, but still would think the uh, Fock might have a go at him. Now he's just looking to see, can he take out that E50? No, oh, he's got a batch up moving up, well there's the G-Saw. And 
precisely where he thought he was and the G-Saw gets taken out so that's a bit of a win. And there's the Fock 155. He takes a hit from him on his tracks luckily. The Bat Chat having a bit of a go at uh, spotting there. Possibly because the uh, WZ is just sitting near the railway line so not doing a whole lot. Maybe he's thinking I'm bottom tier I can't do a lot. Well that's not really the case. Gets another kill there. Takes out the Fock 155. Bat Chat doing a good job there. But they're pretty much still on the other side of the map from where the cap is. And now the cap has been taken over by the enemy. They just had two tanks on it, but um, only one now. Pyro takes out a tank. And he's been doing well on well, his limited amount of health, but that's the end of him in the game. So now what is Poo plus Poo is on his own. The game is still relatively in balance, but Tamer down one tank. I got most of their tanks on the 1 2 line, only the E100 on close to the cap area, and he is on low health. If he pops up, he's going to take a round through the side of the turret, most likely. So he's not going to be able to push much. The Bat Chat is now going across the map. The Super Conk in the middle, keeping everyone at bay. So, what is Poo Plus Poo is deciding, alright, need to move in here and deal with some of these tanks in the middle. E50 is a one shot. But the Super Conk is a bit of a challenge here, the Bat Chat coming up. But he's got the TVP to try and help him get a cross shot. TVP takes out the E50, which is good. And now Wattis Poo is getting challenged by the tanks on the railway line. So if he goes sideways down here, he's going to potentially take some hits. Level 1 shooting at him. He's going in, or he takes two hits there from the Fosh and the Leopard 1. And together with Bat Chat, they take out the Super Conk. So now it is even on the tanks, but they are down on hit points. Well, that's all right. The enemy's got three tanks on cap and only 25 seconds to go. So they've really got to take this into their hands. He's closing in on 9k. He can go for the roof of the Frosh there, which he does. Takes him down to one shotable, which is pretty much every tank is two shotable to the <laughs> Jagaroo. But he wasn't on cap, so but they have reset the um, cap timer. Someone must have moved off. And he's got some other targets here, but who's got the most points? And he just needs to find one he can shoot at. Can he go through the roof of the T-50? Uh, a missed shot. He can't afford it this time of the game. He's even closing on a 10k here. The Fosh is firing through their railway line. This is not good. They're now two tanks down and they are substantially down in hit points, so this is not going in the right direction here. He's had to back down because of the Fosh. And the FV4005 is in front of him. He can at least put a hit in and take a, some of the hit of the cap points off, but the Fosh just keeps poking up. Just enough to remind him that he's still there. And it's a good chance that the enemy is going to cap out. Or they're going to take out all their tanks, in fact. Uh, it's only two of them left, which is the Bat Chat on very little hit points, and What is Poo, and they're basically pushing in now on all sides, saying, all right, we can take these guys out. We don't need to cap. And here comes <laughs> the FE, takes him out. Does take heat from him, but ends up with the game. But he has accumulated nearly 11k of damage. So that's a bit unfortunate, the Bat Chat now being the last one there. I don't think he's going to last or is he just going to hide for the rest of the game. I don't think he can really last. The Object 268v4 will spot him out eventually. In fact he lands a shot on them but then he gets taken out by Leopard 1. So that's the end of the game. A bit unfortunate there. Massive damage total. Well, I'm sure he's going to be on top of the results for his team. Let's have a look. Yep, 10.9k of damage, another 400 of assisted, so that takes him over 11k combined. Very hard to beat in any game. He's blocked 1980, just under the health of his tank, so that's useful to keep him in the game. And two kills. So he's earned the Tank Sniper Award, the High Calibre Award for the most damage, and the Confederate Award. 
and that's earned him an ace, uh, sorry, a first class mastery badge, which is not to be sneezed at. That still means you're better than 95% of the uh, rest of the players in this tank in the game for the past week. So here we go. Yep, finished on top. No, he's actually finished second to the bat chat, who's just pipped him by nine base <laughs> EXP, but nonetheless, yeah, pretty much those two tried to carry the game, but uh, didn't quite pull it off, but certainly finished top on damage, and from a damage perspective, he is nearly five times Pyro, <laughs> who's normally a keen damage hound, and unfortunately just didn't get the opportunities, I would say, but... Um, and on the enemy team, the VZ55, who was taken out, getting over 5k and another 5k there with the the 268v4 and quite a few 3k. So the enemy side putting up a real real battle there. So anyway, it was a great game. Um, unfortunately, couldn't pull it off, but uh, one of those games where he managed to get the most out of his Jagdpanzer E100. So if you've got one of those, that should be helpful to you. All right, so he's ended up firing 12 shots, 11 hits, and all of those penetrated. Uh, there was only one miss that we saw. Had some mission payouts running, which was handy, and he's made a fair bit of income from this game and not had the highest expensive. You can see that he used primarily his standard rounds, and that's, he made a profit of 85k. So if you take that, the 40k for the missions and a bit for the um, Courageous Resistance Award, that's uh, still a decent profit for a Tier 10. Now, base XP 628, so he's got another 360 for uh, the Courageous Resistance, that so gives him 998, so just under 1,000 for the um, base experience for calculating the uh, Mastery Badge, so just a little bit more, so it's probably not a whole lot off the um, Ace Tanker level as well. So great performance there from what is Poo Plus Poo. Thanks very much for the content. If you watch this video and you're getting something out of it, please give the video a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, please have a look at doing that. A lot more great content to follow. Thanks very much for watching.